a little bit more technical today. Using options can be a really cool tool if you have a little bit of a, let's call it a fundamental floor under one of your ideas. So I'll give you an example. So right now, um, myself and a friend of mine who I discussed a lot of trading ideas with are long Fitbit from like the low $5 area. So it had a terrible earnings report, multiple terrible reports. The stock's been crushed. But they have a, a new watch coming out that I think can, it's a copy of the Apple Watch mostly that can serve the Android market, and which is an underserved market. So I'm kind of thinking that we could get a pop if that thing sells better than people think. It's kind of been left for dead. But the reason I'm in the stock is because it couldn't go down in those bad reports. It rallied back. And then we had a long time like Morgan Stanley analyst who downgraded the stock after he basically stuck with it for two years when it was going down. And that pushed it way down and it came back again. So it's, it seems like we found the floor for now until they either go to zero, go down more, or the new product fails. But it seems like for the next few quarters, they talked down expectations and we had all that negative news and it couldn't go down. So I feel like there's a safe zone for three to six months in the stock. Maybe that's too long. Maybe three months, we'll call it. And when I say safe zone, I mean like it probably need, we probably need to see how the new products and the business shifts turn out before we crush the stock down again, given all the bad news and the resilience. That being said, it sets up a great strategy for some options. So like the stock's trading right now around 540, but you know I'm in the low fives. So if you're one of the strategies I'm trying to do is if it comes back a little bit, I want to buy the stock and then sell some call options just a few weeks later against it. So if you buy the stock at like 5.15 and sell the 5.50 call options that expire just a few weeks later, you can pick up like 30 cents on those. So if you think about that, if it goes up, if you think it's going to go up or there's a floor and you buy it at 5.15, 5.20 and it goes to 5.60 or 5.70, well, you have to get out because you sold those calls at 550, so you're flat above 550. But you picked up 35 cents of premium and whatever you made on the stock, wherever you bought it from, until it gets to 550. So you're looking at, I don't know what the numbers are, 12% or something in two weeks, um, which is a trade you can only do if you feel like the stock's not really going to go a whole lot lower and you can get a decent entry. So little things like this, picking up 8 to 10%, 12% on something in a matter of weeks, it's a huge trade, but it's, I look at this more, this isn't how I normally trade, but I do things like this because the risk reward is probably one to one, but the probability of me being right is decently high, probably 70%. And I'm just making this shit up. It, it, it's, it's discretionary trading, right? It's me observing how it's acting to news, deciding that I think it's got a safe zone for a while. So I buy a good area and I sell the options. And I'm kind of able to double dip on my idea a little bit for some income.